Okay, so... Um... Okay, I have one. So my high school boyfriend had terrible taste in clothing. Like, ugh, embarrassing taste. And so I used to throw away his clothes. He'd be like, where's my favorite French shirt? And I'd be all like, pretending to help him look for it. You're a terrible person. You don't do that to me, right? I would never do that to you. You just hesitated. You it was just a pause. Did you throw out my Crocs? No. <sighs> I swear. Okay. Tell me one of yours. One of my what? One of your deepest, darkest secrets. <sighs> Jeez, anything that I say is gonna make me look bad. Well, like what? Like, when I see a, a person so obese that they have to be in a wheelchair, I, um, I think that if I, if I was that person, I would kill myself. I've thought that before. Really? Yeah. All this time, I thought I was the shittiest person in the world, and here you are being just as shitty as me. It's not shitty to think <laughs> bad thoughts. I've actually thought about this a lot. Like, we all carry around these secret thoughts. It's like we're the most fucked up person in the world, but we can't all be the most fucked up person in the world, you know? There's no for sure like ranking system that's like the end all be all of, like who's the most fucked up, you know? Do you want to hear something that gives me brownie points? Sure. In the hit me. realm of fucked up? Yeah. It's really weird. I'm ready for Ugh, it. Maybe I shouldn't. No, you absolutely should. But, like, <laughs> oh, this is it's like really safe space. Weird now. I will not judge you, but you need to tell me. Fine. So, when nobody else is around, I smell my dirty underwear. I've smelled your dirty underwear. <laughs> no, that, uh, come on, everyone does that. I, I, I do the sniff test. I smell my no. underwear. I'm like, no good in the hamper. No, no. I love the smell. Yeah, so, okay, fine. That's fucked up. That's weird. You know, you said you want to judge. I, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. You instantly have to do one that's worse now so we can move on. Okay. The... F the best time, best sex I ever had with my ex-girlfriend, uh, I was like fantasizing about her sister. That's horrible. Oh, yes, I'm aware. She like afterwards was like, what just happened? Like, why Why was that so good? What'd you tell her? I was like, you bring that out of uh, me. I'm like reviewing all of my sexual experiences, wondering who was lying to me now. Yeah, don't go, don't go down that road. Not gonna end well. <clears throat> no, right, right, right. Okay, um, I have one. Um, yeah, when I was a kid, I, um, I, I lied all the time. And it was super weird because I would just, like, not choose to lie, but I would open my mouth and lies would come out. What kind of stuff would you lie about? I'd see a blue car and someone would ask me and I'd say I saw a red one. I'd go on field trips and people would ask my name and I'd make one up. I just thought it was funny, I guess, but more reality is just too heavy. Uh, it, 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 that's hilarious, it's fine. That's like, that's what kids do. You know, they lie, they grow out of it, they, you know, it's, but it's like just being a kid. Hey, hey. What's going on? Okay, what's happening? What's going on right now? I have to tell you everything. Okay, you're freaking me out okay, a little listen, bit. No. You're freaking me out a little bit right now. When we first met and I said I like the Godfather, I was lying. Who cares? No. It's the best movie of all time, but this is beside the point. <clears throat> I care that you and your ex are still friends. Like, how could I not? Of course I do. And I threw away your Crocs. I threw them away. And they were disgusting. And you loved them. And I threw them away. And I just told you I didn't. That's not a big deal. I don't care. I had an abortion a week ago. Kate, what the fuck? Are you serious? Are you fucking serious I'm right wait. now? No. Tell me right I... now if you're serious. <laughs> oh my fucking.
fucking god. Wait. Oh my god. No, wait, I have to tell god. you something. My foster brother assaulted me when I was eight years old. He told me it was a game. The only brothers and sisters got to play, and I I asked him to stop. And he he wouldn't. I've never told anyone that. He's fucking married now, and he has three kids, and he lives in Omaha. It took me so long to even be able to not, like, jump when someone touched me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Kate, can you just calm the fuck what down for a wrong? second? Stop. Don't touch me. Things got weird, but I'm glad you, I'm glad it happened. I'm glad you told me <laughs> what you did and I, maybe my secret is that like I don't have any secrets and <laughs> I'm fucking boring and I'm scared that you will realize that and, <sighs> and I love you. You love me. I do. Thank you. 